Welcome to Totally Integrated Instrumentation. In this video, we're going to look at the MAG8000 and the free configuration tool called FlowTool. In front of you, you can see now the uh, support page. So if you go to the Siemens industry support page and type in uh, this uh, download entry or just search for MAG8000 FlowTool. And what you have here is the program FlowTool. Okay. Then you have um, default parameters for different sizes of flow meters. So for, for Europe, we have uh, a set of default parameters. This is if you get into trouble and you need to factory reset the MAG8000. You can open these parameters and download them and it will factory reset. And I'll show you in a minute how, how that happens. So. The program itself is, you know, is, is, is very, very small. It's about 20 meg at most when you've got it installed. And when you've got it installed, you get an icon on your desktop with the flow tool and an icon of the MAG8000. So to, to start the project, we open it. So first thing we have to do is insert a new flow meter and give it a name. This is purely a file name. so. It's up to you what you type in there, and we're going to leave this set at automatic. So at this stage, you should have a valid connection. You can see there on the right hand side with the MAG8000 infrared dongle. There's nothing to answer, you just simply click on automatic and it will upload all of the parameters from the MAG8000. And when it's got to 100%, if you click done, and then expand your file set, the file structure, even though it looks different to PDM, the file structure is the same. And also, which is quite nice, that we have these parameter numbers. Uh, if you go into the MAG8000 on PDM, you have the same parameter numbers. So if you've been used to using FlowTool for so many years and you move over to the new software, you still can use these parameter numbers as a reference. So to set up the flow meter, first thing we need to do is give it an identification. Call this MAG8000 and then we're going to call this close. Put brand out of characters. So it's a very simple uh, software tool and if you think of it as something that just uploads and downloads parameters, you can't go wrong. So when it's red, I've changed it and I need to download that parameter. So I can highlight both of those parameters by pressing shift and then clicking. And then I can write selected parameters. Password is the same as PDM. It's 1000. And there we go. It has written those parameters. If I come off those, no, they're both black. So the pulsed output is under here, and what we'll do is we'll we'll turn the pulse the um, this, the, the the second output um, on, and we'll set it to pulse. And I'm going to set it to pulse every ten liters. If I want to do the same for the top one, so the forward, so they're both set the same. And you can see that those are all red. Now if I use the control button and select each one of these, I can write those selected parameters only. And that just speeds up the reading and writing of the parameter set. Another nice feature of, of this flow tool is I can have my own parameter folder. So just bear with me on this one because as you go through these parameters, it's the same as any instrument, there's a whole ream of parameters. Yeah, they're interested, but are we actually going to be using the leakage features on a MAG8000 tariff control? Yeah, not really. Most of the time, We'll do the basic setup. So 
product ID. So if I use control, I can copy those. And if I go to my parameter folder and paste, I am now, I'm now creating my, my own reference. So again, if I go to my IO for my pulses, copy those, paste them. Okay. Then the only other thing that might be interesting is the date and time. So if I copy that, paste. So if I want to do the date and time, I can get the current date and time off my PC. That's got red now. Uh, and it's changed my pulses back to a pulse every litre. Now what I can do, everything in there, folder level, I can right click that folder and write to the device. And it's just going to write everything that's in that folder. Done. So it's very nice to, to, to speed up your, your training because you can create your own file structure. So, where it does have a weakness is when we, we need to start doing some fault diagnostics and some service um, type actions. So we have our impedance values. This, these are the impedance values the last time it read the MAG8000, so they're not continuously being updated. So I do need to keep reading the parameters to get an insight into how well they're performing, which in most cases is adequate, but I really want to see the real-time data. So if I need to see stuff like that, then there are service tools available for our service team, but really it's PDM if you want to do that. Um, if I want to simulate, we can see here that my fixed flow enable is greyed out. So if I try and write, I can't change it back to no. So how do I get around that? Well, I have to have a new project. So if I do new flow meter, I give that the same name. Instead of selecting automatic, I select manual. Most of the MAG 8000s are revision 3 or above. The 2 just stands for service mode. So just set it to the revision 3 and then. Okay, I'm going to give it a name. Okay, so down here I have Steve 1. But all of these parameters now look are red. They're not even default parameters, some of these, so you have to be really careful because if I come up to here and right click, write to device, I am going to write all of these default parameters and, and sometimes incorrect parameters to, to the instrument. So that's why we have the factory reset parameters just in case you do that. But if I want to enable fixed flow, if you have a look here, look, I've got fixed flow enable and I have the value. So if I right click that and write that to, to set it to no, set the password to a thousand. And that is now done. If I read this one. So I've now turned that off. If I want to set it back on, just to show you the type of issue that you would have, write that selected parameter and wait for it to go to done. So that's there, but how do I know it's working? Well, I could look on the display of the MAG8000. I, I might be monitoring my pulses via some via a software tool connected to one of my external loggers. What you can also do is if you go to operation, you'll see here all of these parameters. I can read those parameters and get an update. As I said, it's not online all the time. You have to keep constantly read or write. So it's a very good tool, simple to use. 
gets you up and running on the Mag 8000 um, for the cost of just buying an infrared dongle. But if you really need to go and do a deeper delve into to the service diagnostics, then you, you need to upgrade to, to somatic PDM single tag license. So I hope that was useful. Thanks for tuning in and listening to this short video on Siemens Mag 8000 Flow Tool.